rewards are right there. They just dangle carrots in front of you, balls in your face, cling clang. They want you to suck it, right? So I'm showing you guys what this looks like. Good morning. What's up, mother lovers? Teox. We're doing it. I've seen Teox do some absolutely nasty things. And so I want him. I need him. Now, a question I do have about Teox is, does he need to have like multiple champions, multiple um, lizards with him to work to his full effect? Because, let's see, fills his champion's turn meter whenever an enemy or an ally receives a debuff. I haven't really looked at his kit before. I've only seen view a few videos of him doing a lot of damage, and I've gone up against him, against him where he smacked me really hard. So, 25% chance to counterattack whenever an ally is attacked by an enemy under a debuff. Do, do any of you guys have him, by the way? If there are multiple champions on the team with this skill and they want to activate, decrease the damage this champion receives from enemies under the debuffs by 50%. And the damage allies receive from all enemies under debuffs by 20. All allies are immune to sheep. Hmm. Increase accuracy and attack. Yeah, but... Oh, okay, so his active skills actually get a boost too. His third one. AoE. Before attacking, increase damage. Extra hit anybody who has a debuff. Ignore strengthen, ally, protect. And shield. Enemies killed by this while under debuffs. Place block revive. Deals 20% more damage for each debuff on each enemy. Up to 100%. No wonder why he stacks really hard when you have three allies. And I'd like to see how he does in Hydra too. It, it, it's, it's unlikely. Let's be honest here. It's unlikely that I'm going to get him. But what do I always say? Crazier things have happened. And for this Summon Rush event, uh, this is kind of expensive, no? I don't really care about the fragments. I mean, I'll probably get this one on the way to the hammer points just because it's just there. But this is pretty expensive. Normally, it's right around here, I think, to get whatever it is that you need for Summon Rush events, right? It's around 3,000. And I was talking about it before the... The likelihood that they're going to inflate shit and it looks like they have because now instead of just seven we need nine sacreds now luckily i have enough sacreds for summon rush best by the way i don't think i'm close to mercy on this account uh here's what i'm doing on my alt account and this is mostly because i, I just happen to have the shards on my alt account i'm going to be using i'm going to be doing the summoning events most of them, if not all of them. And I'm gonna have to skip the summon rush on my main account. So there's that. But yeah, Teox, Teox is the goal. Again, it's unlikely that I'm gonna get him. I'd be surprised if I, I got him. Crazier things have happened. All purples. I actually like this champion, so I'm going to Arwid Quiver, Quivergrass. I, She's not like the craziest champion, but I do think she's pretty pretty strong. And I just I just like her as a as a champion. I built her out in Savage. And yeah, she she can hit pretty hard. Not not like the craziest, but I took her into Hydra. She did like 400,000 plus in one hit on a decapitated head. Nothing really to write home about, but you know, still kind of cool. Oh, we're also doing a 1 plus 1. Well, this is even uh more so enticing to keep going past nine shards if uh I, I mean i hope we don't have to go that far here we are <sighs> okay okay <sighs> well let's keep going even though i, I burned my mercy on that that's a big rip. Fuck, dude. That's not a great way to start my morning. I don't even know what Vergmachermachender does. Alright, I think we're good. We have to save. We gotta be a little smart. I'm running low. 
Well, I mean, now we've got everything on the first tier. Uh, you're pretty much going to get everything from the first tier just by logging in and doing shit. So, you know what I do think is interesting for Raid? And I think Darren was the one who actually brought this up. For Summon Rush right now, you get 100% more event points than usual summoning from Ancient Shards from Blues. I think normally it's like 20, 20 points per Ancient Shard, and now it's at 40. And then they come out with this saying that they're going to do a uh, 2x. They're doing a 2x for Ancient Shards. And then they're also doing a 10x for Dune Lord Gregor. I don't know who that is for Ancients. And so, you know, he brought it up. Darn brought up a point. He was like, hey, if ever you see that Polarium is trying to get you to expend a specific resource, that's usually an indicator that there's something coming up ahead and they want you to drain that specific resource so that you end up having to, you know, buy that specific resource in the event of a FOMO event. So I don't know what it, when was the last time we did a, um, what was it called? A, a guaranteed for ancients. I mean, like, it, it wouldn't be a shard pulling video if I didn't try just a little bit harder, right? Just try a little bit hard. You know what it is? I'm not in my lucky channel. I'm not in lucky channel number two. That's what it is. It's gotta be, it's gotta be that. All right, we're, we're just, ten, a ten, that's it, a 10 pull. That's all we're doing. That's all we're doing. We're not doing anything more than this. Hands off, hands, okay, we're just one more. Just one more, one more ancient shard pull. That's it, That that's the last one. I just realized I'm, I'm actually pretty close to getting the champion fragments. And I figured, you know, if, if I get those fragments, I can put them towards Maud, right? Or Mod. So, I mean, it only makes sense that I pull just a little bit more to get the fragments. And that Lego book is right there, too. I mean, I need a Lego book for Thor. Right? It's just... Just one more, one more 10 pull. And by the way, the guys, by the way, this is how, this is how Polarium operates. This is how Polarium sets things up. They, oh, oh, it's hot. That was four, four epics. I'm hot right now. I got to keep going. This is what Polarium does, right? Now, not specifically this thing here where, oh, it's hot right now and whatever. But the whole, like, oh, the rewards are right there. They just dangle carrots in front of you. Balls in your face. They want you to fucking suck it. Right? So I'm showing you guys what this looks like. And if and if you guys are seeing this in yourselves, by the way, I'm not a rapper, so don't take my financial advice or anything that I'm saying here. Just watch me for entertainment. Don't watch me for guidance. Might want to stop and think like, oh, do I really need to keep pulling shards? Remember, shards are a currency for you. Don't really, you know, it's going to get to a point where you're not really going to be using shards as a form of getting champ like yes getting champions but you're gonna get to a point where you're only gonna use like 17 of the same champions every single time anyway right but yeah this is how they get you they look at the they put the rewards in front of you and then they're like oh look burrito you're so close bro you're so close get that fucking legendary book just fucking suck my tit right that's what they want and so what do i do i dive right in and i summon I don't even care if I get a legendary point. I just want the legendary book because I'm I'm low on legendary books. But there you go. Do we get the legendary book? Yes, we do. We get it right there. Perfect. Perfect. Exactly. Balls in the face. Cling clang. Balls hanging low while I pop a bottle off a yacht. Chain swinging. Cling clang. And it costs a lot.